Hey guys, welcome back to another vid. Um, yeah, it's nice and cold here by me. So, I'm sharing a vid today on the Demon Duke a Goddess. So, before I get into his info and how I can help and what he's all about, um, welcome to all the new subscribers, guys. Thanks for watching. I ask if you'd like the vid, please show it by pressing the thumbs up, share the vid. Uh, it's more of sharing the knowledge than the actual vid, but yeah, share it. That's all I ask, thank you. And again, if you need any help on a spiritual level, spiritual understanding, spiritual teaching, spiritual healings, uh, and from tarot reading to your spell work needs, whether it's with the angels, the Gawaisha or Santeria, drop me an email, I'll definitely get back to you guys. Um, so, the Demon Duke of God is, firstly, his, his sigil. By now you know uh, I'm very anal about hand drawing it. Uh, once you set up an altar for any entity, you're more than welcome to add printed sigils, printed pics. You can go really elaborate, but at least in the start, look, I always do it, but have a hand-drawn sigil. It sends a message and gets the image in your mind as well. So, a god is, that's his sigil. You can Google it as well. Mine's not the neatest, and I've said in many vids before, it doesn't actually have to be the neatest, as long as it's hand-drawn and pretty accurate. Okay. Um, write this down or pause or rewind his incantation. I'm gonna look down for this It's a bit, a bit of a tongue tie for me as well. His incantation is Rian Ganen that is spelled G-A-N-E-N Ganen Aya de Agares Rian Ganen Aya de Agares So that's your first two pieces. So you've got your let's say A4 page for your standard petition you can combine it on the same page. You can draw a sigil in the center. I do that a lot of times myself. Uh, in bold, that's on top is incantation. And followed by incantation are always words of welcoming and invite. And that's the thing. Invite, invite the entity into your home and into your experience, your life, and ask uh, to experience his energy, his help. So once you write down like a, basically like a hello letter, it's an easier way to look at it as, your, as, a, as a letter. Um, for a goddess, you're going to need two green candles, both inscribed with his name on it, uh, embalmed with eucalyptus oil, always rubbing from the from the bottom of the candle upwards. And from that stage already, you can start calling on the entity's name, like prepping what you're going to carry on doing. So you've got his hand petition, and on a plate, you have two green candles. Simple offerings, you can put a glass of red wine there for him. Um, also, what I noticed that really resonates is, is fresh, fertile soil. You can just either put that next to it. Uh, you can get creative. You can put it all around the candle as well. That's also fine. And copper, whether it's copper bracelets or copper coins, just put a whole bunch of copper, whatever you can get your hands on, guys. You can even pour the wine in copper cup as well. Uh, the copper really resonates with him. So that's a basic um, setup for him. It's not very elaborate. You can get creative with what I've already given you. So, some of the benefits of working with a god is firstly, he comes with a hell of a lot of backup. So when he does, um, you know, give you a call back and starts to help you and, and show himself in your life, and there's a mission you're asking him to help you with in your, in your life, if he chooses to, he can go forward on his own, obviously. But he comes with such a massive backup that if he helps, he comes and he can delegate. So he comes with like... Um, an office of workers on your behalf, should you have a successful invocation, a successful spell with him. He comes with a hell of a lot of help. And where does he help? He helps in wisdom, um, especially matters of finance. He helps also a lot um, in communication and languages. So it's not just as simple as learning a language, yes, that he'll definitely help with. But the whole aspect of language, not just the dialect or the, or the letters, the actual communication in a language, which is key. Um, to just success in general, so communication and language is his supreme. Um, he helps a lot in elevation, uh, elevating you in life, uh, specifically in your work environment, in your workplace, which is where his, his talent of communication and language is coming, because you can't really elevate yourself in a company or, or anywhere generally if the communication is shit. So he will help you with that as well and open you up into how to understand and receive messages better and to get your point across better and not just better but more uh, forcefully as well that it will sit with people and resonate more with them what your idea is will resonate with them if you work with a goddess also which is a bit offbeat um, 
Yeah, I was with um, not just kids, but people who have this runaway mentality or runaway attitude. Like, it can be a kid who's literally ran away from home or a partner or friend who's run away. He helps to bring people back. So, yes, once a relationship is established with him and, and it's good, you can actually work with him on a love spell as well because he's very good at bringing people that run away back into your life. Guys, I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll always get back to you guys. Yeah, share the word. Till next time, be blessed.